What's up, hippo lovers? Another person redeemed their points over on Twitch and wants their one of their record games analyzed. Not really sure why that person went for it, but um, well, it's redeemed, so we will do it. The person themselves are 2050 1v1 RM rating, and they wanted me to look at one of their Empire Wars games. Cumans against Aztecs here, and could be a pretty tricky matchup. We are looking at Meadow and Ready Rodion. Is the one already Rodion? Yeah, with the analysis. So we will go for a gate here. Not really sure if we need a gate actually on this map. Do you ever send that many villagers onto wood and you don't need to rush it with three villagers? Look at that one. So, first, I see like four villagers already working on a wall where there's no threat coming within at least another one and a half minutes, right? So, we are playing against Atex. The first thing that could arrive is one eagle and then a second eagle. So, I would be really surprised if there's lots of aggression coming. So, I think this is over rushed and we're handcuffing ourselves a bit there. Now, the first archery range and double archery range drop. Okay, okay. I can see that. We're trying to use the cumin bonus. Also, I like personally to play meadow with... Um, is stable first and then the archery range but I, I can see the reasoning there now we're going for the big walls the problem is now how we build the gate we always have to go here we want to shift click but yeah um, also we go for way more walls here I don't like this one because that one run, runs dry pretty soon and remember our opponent with that stacks can't really harass us too harass us too much Right? It is only eagles. And eagles are always slower than our army. We always know where the army is because we have a cumin, incredibly fast scout. So we should not get surprised. I'd rather see a wall here and some walls towards the center than those small walls against such a slow civilization. I think it works better if our opponent, for example, is Magyars. I understand those walls way more because three scouts are already pretty deadly. But against Ad6, they're so slow at least in the first three minutes, that we don't need those walls and we need to open them to get to the deer anyways or to the other berries, yada yada. Let's continue. This could be a pretty long game. Is Cuban competitive now since the last buff, buffering military building costs? Yes, heavily, heavily. You, you, I think we will see them a lot in Red Bull 5. So, second barracks. What are we seeing? Uh, we didn't scout this. Our scouting... Because we are walling so much, is handcuffing ourselves a bit, right? And that one is idle. The scout should already be around here. Where do we see an archery range? So do we see a barracks? Like that's already the second barracks. Is he going double barracks? What are we going for then? This, those are walls that should never be open. Obviously, that got annoyed a bit earlier, but we will finish those in time. So all good. And yeah, we will feel safe. But. This one is tricky, right? So many walls are coming up. Now we are moving out. And... Either we need to think about long swords here in the long run. Or maybe third archery range. Probably long sword as an addition. This is, I think, should always be played with market abuse. Archers very indecisive. The, the, where, where do we need our archers? Never here, right? This is the spot where we can't get raided. Either we have them here to protect the raids there, or we put them in the back here. We know that the eagles are there, try to do some damage, or we attack. But they are absolutely in no man's land right now. So that's something I don't like. Pretty good tower for our opponent. Unlucky, can't see that. We don't even know the spot there happens. Not much we can do against that. We are seeing some more here. What I don't like is that we're not using the scout. Why we, we need to see is he building a market is he building how many barracks is he going on to gold right this one could be a good spot to raid is he maybe going to the corner with the extra shorefish yada yada all information we want to have 10 archers and we didn't kill a single unit this game oh we actually killed one eagle apparently okay now this one I just stop it and put my own tower there yeah okay oh that one is out of range and now we are attacking ourselves I'd already use the scout and try to annoy here and decrease HP 
This is a wild. This will be a wild game. I already see no walls, no houses. Going for the second gold spot, idling the TC already. I think market is your your heavy heavy friend here. Now, yeah. set up that second mining camp. Just long distance mine. Drop a market. Now we are in here. It's really important that we don't allow him to rewall behind this one. If we get in, the game is obviously over. Okay, good job here. Uh, patrol a bit more. Okay, okay. We might find a kill. Good job. Losing some time. No problem. Eagles are coming back home. Okay, find a second kill. Could be a third kill. We're looking good now. He is on heavily on stone. Okay, this is really good. Now we should be inside. Now the question is, do we jump for the wills or do we try to reduce ego numbers? We can kill every single villager. Okay, the game should be won here. So we know the only way we lose this game is now that he overwhelms us with eagles. So what I do is now drop a market, which we already should have done. We should be up to Castle Age quite some time ago, right? Obviously we're focused here, we are really happy with this. But now it's our spot. Triple, either triple stable knights or what's probably safer is triple barracks and full longswords. Market is coming now. And yeah, the big problem here with all the small walls, we are limiting ourselves, right? We couldn't go for the deer. Extra resources, really important on meadow. They are all around and you can go for them. Market now being rushed out and we are 10 villagers ahead. Archers around, but we need another unit to help out with the archers. Hmm. Rogan? Nash, thanks. So obviously this player knows a lot in a lot of Age of Empires, right? He is yeah, one of the best to ever touch the game. And this is a really high level play. I just feel that we like if if you got an advantage in Age of Empires, you like a massive advantage, right? And this is eight villagers killed advantage. You need to think, what is the way that I can still lose the game? And the only way I see is that we get overwhelmed by eagles. So the, oh, the we just need the units to stop the eagles and we always win. It's that simple. And we stay on crossbow here. Look at our 1k gold. Four farmers. Do the farm upgrade, drop 10 more farms, get... Long sorts out. Now we go into stone. No. Our opponent 100% all in here. They, they will never drop TCs. Right? Our eco is better. Now we go for the counter attack. Kind of risky move being out here. But okay. We, we have the advantage in timing. Uh, market usage, not to my liking. Buying 400 food now could have been already worse price. And now either technically we could go like four archer ranges CA against this, but crossbow simply is not the unit against eagles. And we know we are playing against ad stacks that has a, an incredibly low economy. So it is always eagles. What did we lose our tower here? Not really sure what happened. Maybe delete it. Hmm. Yeah, score is very misleading. What's our scouting? Our scouting is way worse than his. That's the big difference when it comes to score. Okay, now our army is here and we continue to produce crossbows. It's one simple mistake. Right? We are, we are continuing to build the worst unit we can build. Kind of, right? Skirms is worse, Spearman is worse. But... Then it gets tough. Ay, 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 ay. Does blue have a dock? You don't really dock on this map. And no, he doesn't. Oh, he at the top. No, he milled that one. Yeah. Oof. Why are no Asian players allowed in Red Bull? They are allowed. Ballistics now. And now, yeah, now we're getting problems. Oh, goddy. Oh, goddy. I think this will be a painful death for us now. We are 14 villagers ahead at this point with even army value. And crossbows will do nothing against the tower. Meanwhile, we are getting raided to death. Oh, God. 
Yeah, I ha I had those games. I have plenty of those games, right? It's a bit similar to my game five against Balz in the Red Bull qualifier, where I had crossbows and then I went for triple stable knights, thinking Berbers would counter that. Just go long swords here and you you are fine. Your economy is so much better. Now we have suddenly four villagers behind. Our army is never going to achieve anything anymore. And we lost the game. Ah, this feels so bad. Simply not going for the counter. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, we can fast forward this one. This is just going to be ugly. Now he can wait for like 10 eagles. Will clear us up here. He only needs gold. And yeah, we, we can micro our heart out here. And that's, this is really good micro, sure. Is it enough? Now we're getting to a castle. But all of a sudden we are six villagers behind. And he is the one booming. now. And that's what I said, right? He will always all in. His TC is now at 18 minutes. And now we lost all this. We are six villagers behind. And yeah, we continue still in a reasonable game, but he will always have full control. Oof. And Kipchaks are still a good unit. But like the fundamental thing simply was not realizing how far ahead we were and then not going for the Eagles, uh, counter to Eagles. To be, we have to say though that AdSecs are crazy good on Meadow. And you can simply get a lot of control. Mistake by the opponent, not getting the relics when he had the map control, right? He should have four or five relics now. We are microing at the front and losing another 10 villagers here. Make it 13 maybe. Trapping all those eagles could be nice. Oh yeah, mistake by blue. Okay, okay. Feels like we are, we are getting back into it. And oh god, yeah, this is going to be such a long game now. Oh no, oh no. And, and he will micro his heart out. But uh, it's just so easy to play at stacks here. Right? You only need to press the eagle production key. And just find new spots. And the Kipchak player always has to micro. Has to be so careful. And... Like, if you play perfectly, I think humans always wins it. But we are humans. And therefore, it's way easier to play eagles as well in this spot. Right? And it's always getting swarmed here. Idle villagers. And now we have 15 population behind. Opponent is on 3 TCs. Can boom. And now they get all the free food on the outside as well. Some extra gold. Counter attack with the Kip checks. And oh boy, that's a lot of scorpions. Oh boy. I think I want to go into normal speed again now. Let's see if we eat some bad scorpion shots. Red's micro doesn't help without ballistics to make arrows hit. What? The arrows mainly hit. Right? The eagles are chasing them. But yeah, obviously, ballistics would be better here. Agreed. Yeah, I think we're underusing the market. That's something that makes, for example, Doubt, Tado, a lot of great arena players really adjust and balance the ecos there. No eco upgrades for blue? Yeah, not a single one. Crazy. Crazy. And we have two wood upgrades. 50 villagers to 60 villagers. Nine scorpions. I don't like that blue is waiting that long. Like, you can contest this with five scorpions. And make the opponent run away. I just sent five here, five here. And then the Kipchaks don't really want to engage into that one. Force TC now. Yeah, blue just knows. He needs to stall to elite eagle warriors now. It's tough to get all the farms running though for him. Oh, is he actually attacking through the center? He's also getting three relics. Our Kipchaks are idle now. Oof. Now he sees the scorpions. Yeah, and Kipchaks are not designed to hold on to a lot of fire. Even with bloodlines. Hmm. Ten villagers behind, four TC against two TCs, and we are not really expanding, right? Thing is, with if you have CA, also booming behind this is not easy. That's why, for example, you see if Doubt plays CA, he often plays it one TC for a very long time, right? The famous Hans against Berbers game I had against him two weeks ago, he played with thirty villagers for twenty minutes. 
because you always need to micron, you always need to babysit. If you build two farms, you might have taken in a game losing fight with the CA. And that's why it's way easier to play CA with low economy. Hmm. Yeah, maybe someone wants to look for the rating for Shorkis on AoE Nexus. You can find Ready Rodion 16th of August. This game was played. And now the Eagles. Oh, the Scorpions did nothing. The defense is nice. But now 65 villagers. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, apparently not too happy with this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's take a look. Kip checks. Yeah, they're a good counter to Eagles. Don't get me wrong. Really solid micro. He, he's playing lots of stuff, right? Okay, opponent is 1980 RM 1360 Empire Wars. Thank you. They do bad damage with Eagles? What? Really? Didn't know that. Thought they were doing 3 damage. Pretty sure. Yeah. Pros cannot take care of their CA and boom at the same time. May? Well, I'm saying it's easier to play 1TC, right? I'm not saying they can't. But with, like, with Eagles, the spamming is so much better. And now it's tough to take engagements, right? And yeah. Whoa. Okay, that's a good one. But look at that. The Eagles are there. One shot. I think he needed to run a bit further to take another shot. Like, this is the perfect distance. You always want to be like two tiles away. Here was one tile away. And therefore, he took some more shots. Hmm. Now the ram attack. Yeah. And it, like, although we are leading in score, we are so far behind. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No, don't tell me this is happening. Oh, 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 oh. Guess who's knocking at our door? Oh god. Oh god. Okay, now Red probably thought he won the game. And suddenly red is five villagers ahead. Oh no. Oh no. What a bad, bad caster by blue. Right? Like, this positioning is fine, but why were the eagles not protecting? Didn't make any sense. Tower is nice and helping out now. Are we sending more builds? Oh yeah, we are. Okay, castle will go up eventually and that will block the wood line. And yeah, it's really nice to micro here. I agree. Nice to play it this way, but... Oh, actually, the castle, will it go up? That's a lot of arrows flying. Villagers, oh, they're, they're in the wrong spot. They all need to group and then all go at one time. They shouldn't go one by one. Oh, but the castle's shooting the wrong direction. Uh-oh, oh, this... 90%. <laughs> Eagle micro here, not sure that he didn't want to sit on the two. Castle needs to focus not on the eagles, but on the villagers here. This is so weird. Uh, this one is actually a game to cast, not to coach. Ay, 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 ay. Funny one, funny one for sure. Castle goes up, and now no wooden come for so long. So long. Meanwhile, five TCs by blue. He's not producing well, right? He has two villages in the queue, 17 farms only. Uh, yeah, entertaining game, right? <laughs> not really sure the plan here. But okay. Yeah, maybe you send it for the great game, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, now we are leading in in score. Going for hand cards. Trying to go for the second wood line, which is really bad. Now that's only our fourth TC, which is fine. Eagles around, taking that engagement because he knows villagers would die. They should be running away, though. They will always die in some seconds. More eager raids. Those scorpions not shooting. That was really good for red. Don't tell me red is winning this one. Now full eagles. Two castle kip checks. Should be doing quite fine. Oh, 
Oh no, oh no, oh no. Unnecessary. Ah, another castle there. Yeah, and that's the big problem, right? And that's like, we will take the more cost efficient trades with Kipchaks against Eagles, but our opponent can just swarm and will have easier map control. Another wave of villagers that we're losing here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. And another castle here! What is this game? <laughs> Holy moly, house is here now, Kipchaks there. <laughs> this, is, this is a crazy good game. I think the, they just paid the hippo points so that we are casting this game. Mm, okay, I think I need to change the rules. Like, the game can't be too good to be cast. Otherwise, I, I will I will just enjoy the game too much and we will stop um, concentrating on trying to improve our game here. Now we have 50 population ahead. Yeah, it seems like Shork is through it with his uh, with his castles. Oh no, he is up to him. Ah, Blue might still win it with the lead eagles. So the game was way too long for an analysis. Because now all the important stuff already happened, but we're still not imp. And now I think it will simply be waiting for elite eagle warriors and we won't have an answer with kip checks anymore against those. Like, our economy should be good enough that we have a Hassa buffer or that we get onto the champion line. But we only have 20 farmers. Now the third wood line, so easy to raid that one. And yeah, holy guacamole. 160 villagers, obviously an overboom. What is happening here? 89 villagers on the screen. That's something I've never seen before. 54 eagles in the queue. That's also something I can't really remember. But we will lose so many villagers. Oh no, oh no. And Kipchaks aren't great there. Like 70 on wood, 2k on wood. Don't need Kipchaks get wrecked by Eagles? No, no, I don't think so. And now we are just waiting for... Do we have Elite upgrade? Yeah, Elite Eagle Warrior and they just win the game. Now we go for Mass Light Calf. Yeah, the transition was tough behind it though, right? Now another wild castle by blue. Uh, oh god. And yeah, how how you you can deny that again if you wanted to. But that's so many villagers that will die. Castle goes up. What a crazy good game, honestly. If that person just sent me it, like nearly take a look, maybe you want to cast it. We could like make a highlight out of it. Uh, even getting Garland Wars now for our Eagle Warriors. 9 plus 6. Getting only wheelbarrow now. Still no wood upgrade by blue. Pooh, some clear mistakes were made. 53 kip checks. Crazy good. 6,000 wood in the bank. Also not too shabby. But obviously would love to rather see 20 more farmers. How many villagers did we lose this game? 190 now. And the eagle spam can just decide where to go, right? It's impossible for us to now deal with that. We don't have any villagers on gold anymore. Spamming some light caps at the top, but it's so, so easy for them. Just send five eagles here, five eagles there, and we, ca we can never deal with that anymore. Another castle going up. And yeah, we're doing a really good job overall. What a crazy good game. I think we could have sold even more wood. We still have 4k in the bank. 45 kip checks. And yeah, we're microing our heart out. It's it's simply imp it's so easy for our opponent to play here. Yeah. Crop rotation. <laughs> uh, two minutes after getting double bid X. Never get crop rotation, guys. Uh, that late in the game. Game needs to last at least 40 more minutes or something for it to pay off. Like you need to reseed the farm twice. Relic gold must be insane. Five relics there. Holy guacamole. Yeah. Must be out of this world. Another doubt cast in the back. Pop on it in 10. And yeah. After forcing so many doubt castles. I can see why red was completely surprised. And. Yeah. Poof. Ah. Shocked us in the, in the mix here. 
Uh, funny game, funny game. Yeah, so, um, I think we can start opening Notepad, right? So, um, eight vehicles early is uh, equals how can we still lose? Eagles are smaller than long swords. Um, we can do um, no four will wall versus meso. What else can we remember from this game? Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Still nice raids around. Still a wild game. I think we are out of gold on this map now. But it's it's still full relics against no relics. We need pikemen here. Oh, Ready Rodion is even winning it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, simply not going for pikemen here. Yeah, yeah. So good job getting onto enough farms behind this one there. And Blue simply didn't build pikemen. Well, well. Um, okay, what else do we need to take away? Um, Kip check. So long swords was good. Blue ran out of gold. Yeah, yeah. And then eagles without like. Uh, we can quickly take a look at how much relic gold we got. Okay, predictions in the chat. How much relic gold did Blue have in the end? It's a 1 hour 25 minutes game. 7k, 6.7, 9k, 5k, 12k, 5, 5, 4, 14, 9, 6.5, 6, 3.5, 15k, 6k, 7k, 8k. And the answer is 10.8. That's solid. That's solid. 13k in total for Radio Rodion. And Chalk has got 33k. That is that is really solid. Yeah. Yeah, Blue not adding trash in time, but it is tougher to get on trash, right? Um, yeah, 408 village just being built. Poof. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Meadow, no wall, berries. Exception if your opponent is going for lots of scouts and you will, will always fall back. So against Franks, against Magyars, you can maybe wall your berries there. And use market earlier more. No crossbows? Well, crossbows were fine till we knew we faced this massive advantage and the long swords were the counter against eagles, right? Hmm. The amount of villagers sent to wood at that point, that's like, yeah, it's a mistake, but that happens every hundredth game, right? We need something, we need advice that's more applicable to more games, right? I won't list like every single mistake he made here every single time. Right? That's just, we, we think about like basic stuff, right? No four will against Mezzo. That's applicable to every game you play against Mezzo. Meadow, no wall, berries, applicable to every time you play um, berries. Use market more, basic concept. Mezzo is a Mezzo sieve, basically, ad stack Inca Mayans. That's applicable. That is a basic rule of RTS, right? How can we lose the game? So, yeah, uh, thanks for it. Very long analysis, but it was a half an hour game, a one and a half hour game. In the future, I won't allow that long games, but I still hope you enjoyed it and understood the basic concept. So, goodbye, uh, people lovers on YouTube.